Oui. How many stairs must a man with bad judgment fall down before he decides to take the elevator? And how many explanations will some people swallow like goldfish until they are stuffed to the gills? And what are the consequences of attempting to learn the Good evening, colleagues, around town, around the globe. Here we are again for an edition of Public Affairs Public Access. But I want to tell you, we are here for a special edition of the show. Because tonight, the nation is facing some difficult decisions. And so am I. And so am all of you. But, but... I have told you before that my people are always taking care of you by finding the story behind the story. And there's a big story going on in the nation's capital tonight. So I have taken an unprecedented step. I've told you before that my crack experts always find the real facts behind the real facts behind the curtain. And I'm going to show you what some of those people do for a living and how they interact with me. In other words, I brought some of my crack investigators with me tonight because things are going so fast, going so fast, that I can't even keep up with them. I have some special guests tonight to help me tell you what is really going on with this impeachment frenzy that is upon us now. These are people who are devoted to finding the truth or something very like it, or something sort of like it, or something highly entertaining. Let me introduce some of the people who came with me tonight. First person that you need to meet is Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery's been doing some work for, oh, that's not Tom. That is. Well, <laughs> Tom foolery has been doing some stuff for me as long as I can remember, but it all started back, I think, 1957 or 58, when a gas pipeline company decided to build a pipeline through his aunt's beautiful two-story retreat uh, in, uh, it was Maryland, wasn't it? Or New Jersey. Maryland or New Jersey, one of those. And... Uh, he decided that it was very important to work with me. He had been working on misspelling bees and a, a, some kind of guerrilla chess contest for, you know, younger citizens. But he decided the work we do is more important. And he's now working for me when he's not working for the Tennessee Tattler. Now, marginalia has been doing this kind of work for a long time, but before that, she was teaching fake news at Colgate University. I think the official name of the course, though, was uh, Optional Historical Evidence. Is that, that right? Yes. 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 And uh, she, uh, well, she also studied motel management. I'm, I'm not sure why. But she writes for the New Jersey Nitpicker when she's not doing work for me. And gymnasium, well, gymnasium and I go back, I think, 252 years. Uh, Jim was an equipment manager for a string of failed rock bands. Uh, and, and after that, I think he, he found this to be the only kind of work that was redeeming for him. So when he's not writing for the Philadelphia Fumigator, he's working for me. And we have other investigators. Of course, I couldn't get them all assembled here tonight, but these people are some of my best researchers, and they're going to tell you what they know about stuff. Question that jumps out at excuse all of me, us. Excuse me, boss, before we start, we've already had our first alternative fact of the evening. It's not been 252 years. It's been 251 years, 10 months, 7 days, 12 hours, and oh, 6 minutes. I well, he was honoring the fake news 
teacher right here by giving just slightly modified information. There we go. And That's I right. I really appreciate that. It's an important genre to cover in today's education. I didn't I didn't know they called it a genre, but Fake uh, news, of course. Oh, okay. Well, I you used to tell me it was a jumpsuit, but I guess that's neither here nor there. What's, what's really important right now is the frenzy we see in Washington. That involves a lot of name calling by the president. You may have seen his, uh, his terminology that he used for Adam Schiff. I think we have a, a news clipping we can show you there. He labeled uh, our distinguished intelligence committee chair on the house as a wounded sardine. He also said that Nancy Pelosi can't be trusted with nine irons or prayer biscuits. Uh, I'm not sure what a prayer biscuit is, but if you guys remember, just uh, speak up. Um, there have been counter charges, of course. The, the, the Democrats don't take this kind of stuff laying down or, or sitting up. Um, there, the charges against the young Biden, for example, involve him making $50,000 a year in a job he's not qualified for. But I'm doing some research. My, my staff tells me where to look. It turns out that the younger Biden did a job that most of us can't do. What he did was he adhered to an ancient religious practice that is found among gas company executives in the Ukraine that when they make important decisions, they need to be sat upon. Some of these guys weighed hundreds of pounds. In fact, what young, young Biden sat on amounted to 1,450 pounds of gas company executives. And if you want to know my opinion, $50,000, <laughs> well worth it for a gimmick like that. But things are now charging into hyperspeed. Uh, we have, we have uh, what do you think? Does it have to do with uh, the onslaught of the Mueller investigation and a follow-up? That's, that's, that's a good question, boss. I think they, they, the Mueller investigation did not turn up a smoking gun. So they think they now, with this Ukraine call, they've turned up a stink bomb. And I think that's what's pushing it. With such so you're, you're saying they, that the Mueller report was all rubber bullets? That's correct. Absolutely. Well, that's part of it. But uh, some people think that Pelosi just got religion. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. you know, they say oh, she's... I thought you meant Eugene Pelosi. N no. no uh... I thought you meant John Belushi. No, there, there, isn't there, did she remember the Pelosi crime family in New Jersey? Is well, she was, one? but I think remember, she's... Remember, they went to a church and they asked for God's help to get their band back together. Wasn't that, that was the one in the Valentine's Day massacre. Ow. Okay. Okay, Just, well, be that as it may, a lot of people say Nancy is really good at counting. You know, they've always, I don't know if that's true, uh, but in base 10 anyway, she used to be pretty good at counting, but it looks like now she is looking at base 20. I'm talking about 2020, whereas her opponent, if you want to call him that, Donald Trump, is still looking at base 2016. Well, I think the general public really just wants good base. Uh, that just sounds better. It's it all about. Better it's all, for speakers, it's, really. Yeah, really. Some things are still not legal. It That's, really doesn't matter. Um, now, my understanding is uh, one reason that things are accelerating so fast, Adam Schiff was given a heads up that there was going to be some sort of a complaint, but apparently forgot about it. That's what y'all are telling me. But then somebody explained to him what a subpoena was, and he got hotwired. Have I got that right? To the extent one can, now that Radio Shack is closed, that's correct. Okay. Uh, and speaking... No, speak in, in fact, actually, the, the truth was that he was price-lined. And uh, did, uh, does that affect him the same way it would affect you or me? I, I, I thought he he put the subpoena on eBay and had gotten some pretty good bids for it. But uh, yeah, I bid but, on it. Okay. Well, so yeah. did I. But I, I thought I was bidding on a, a picture of it. No, it's it's the actual subpoena. No, all right. That's, yeah, shipping it's, was better. It's going to be quite a collector's item, I'm sure. I actually heard it was a, a detachable subpoena. Oh, okay. We we use those sometimes. Uh, We'll get into that a little bit later because we, we have a, 
some scientific evidence that you, you might want to look at. But the photo I think, had it lying on a blanket. One other thing that I think has kicked things into high gear, you know, there were some Democrats who were resisting impeachment. Uh, I think they called themselves the Ukrainian Folk Song Caucus. Mm -hmm. But what they really called themselves, uh, according to Jim, I mean, he, he told me this, they called themselves the I really hate Trump, but I really love this job caucus. And now that the train is leaving the station, they don't want to be the last ones to get on. That's true. They've, they've looked at the state of health care in this country and decided they have it pretty cushy with the health care that's given to representatives in the House. So they've decided so they all costs to, cost to keep their job. Yes. All right. So they don't want to be treated like the rest of us. I think they were going by maritime rules. In New Jersey, we had something called the Sea Caucus, which allowed you to venture out and therefore be uh, attended by one of these um, international boats for health care. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because pretty soon here, we're going to get into the subject of uh, squid pro quo, but let's hang on just a minute. First thing, first thing I want to ask you about, you know, I've said this before, when intelligence agencies talk about things that they're going to be willing to share with you, they always say that they have to protect their sources and methods. Okay, that's why they redact everything. My people, however, they know about sources and methods, but they're willing to tell you what some of the sources and methods are. Isn't that right? Uh, you can talk about your sources, can't you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My source donned the Stave Puff marshmallow suit and went into the White House to gather information. And he was so accepted because he brought so much nostalgia to the people and served marshmallows. They didn't even notice that he was gathering his data. Was it, were these preheated? Absolutely. Okay. I, I personally, my own source. I disguised myself and told the White House I was a spanning, spran bleh, tanning spray technician. And I was, I, was, I was admitted to the White House and to all meetings. It was spectacular tomfoolery on my part, if I might be so uh, bold. Yes. So you might have been the guy that sprayed our Ritz crackers to look like graham crackers. Well, that's quite possible. Yeah. You that's people good. don't argue amongst yourselves, do you? Um, no, but that is his side gig, so I, I respect that. I, actually, this question, you know, is music to my ears, I would say. I, I, for me, my sourcing relies on the one God. I think, as Jacob said in the good book, um, every, every governing body deserves fudge. And so, I, specifically, I would hearken back to um, that one tenant that he offered, uh, screw us, governess, multo retardo, rinse, repeat us. I used to, uh, I think that's the first one I learned on the guitar when I was young. Yeah, uh, we, well, we actually had a prayer that sounded a lot like that when I yeah. was in Catholic school. But yeah, Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah, as Jews do too on Sunday. I, I do remember saying it wrong and getting repeatedly hit on the hands with the ruler for saying Listen, it wrong. Listen, um, so. uh, uh, Was it tape measure? That reminds uh, me of the first lesson we have, vous a dit une chose que n'est pas correct. Um, I, I appreciate your sharing these sources, but I, I thought some of you, more than one of you, told me that you got close to the White House yoga instructor and that she spilled, he or she spilled, what, beans? Well, since, uh, since nobody in the White House actually takes yoga, obviously, from looking okay, at it. Okay, I, 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 you may have missed. I must be that thinking one. of Paraguay. Yeah. Um, it's actually the Zumba instructor. And and didn't one of you say that you struck up a uh, relationship with the Uber driver who brought the crab leg tacos? Pizza. To, it was gluten free pizza. Okay, to, when the staff was meeting late at night. So, was, um, Labor Day. Mm. And then. Solely. Yes, that was very clever of you, March. I wish I had I had thought of using an Uber driver. I could have saved all that money. I spent okay, that, okay, yeah, that's goodness. enough about sort. What about quite a bit of staff members who have dietary restrictions in the White House, and if you can get an Uber driver that specifically addresses those issues, they're very welcoming. It was cage-free crab pizza. All right, that's uh, that covers sources. Let, let, let's talk about methods now. One of you told me in confidence, so we're, I'm not going to point you out right now. One of you told me in confidence me. a long time ago that uh, you loaned a lot of people screwdrivers. That was a method. But it wasn't clear to me what they, uh, why they 
needed this. You know, back. boss, look, you're gonna bring this up. Yes, this was the wobbly furniture spy method. Thanks a lot. Okay, all right. I, Any methods well, that I, you wanna share? I, I snuck into the, the White House laundry room and hid in a pile of dirty laundry for two weeks, living only on dog biscuits and a nice little Pinot, very, very good gentle Pinot Noir. So that, that, that was one of the things I've, but I, I do, the, the loose furniture is just brilliant, sir. I, that, I wish I, again, I wish I, I had no thought of that. injured. I, he wasn't supposed to trace back I, to me. I pretended to have attended too many rock concerts and couldn't hear anything people were saying. So they spoke freely in front of you? Yeah. Okay. I just told them I'd blown out my eardrums. Both okay, so I, I think all of you out there are starting to appreciate how clever my researchers are how they get attached uh, inside one of these uh, places of business or, or centers of government where important things are being discussed, and then nobody even notices they're there. But, but having talked about sources and methods, because nobody else will, I want to talk now about this big crisis that we have. And, and really, the hubbub here has really started with the disclosure of a phone call to the Ukraine. And what do we know about it? Well, I know something. There is a company called Ukraine. Uh, don't we have their web page? The web page for you? Yeah, there we are. Ukraine, I'm not sure where they're headquartered, but it looks like they will build just about anything that you want, wherever you want it, and that might even include a, a wall. Uh, if what you wanted to build was a wall. So the first thing that the president said, if you'll recall, was that he wasn't talking to the president of a country, he was talking to the president of a company. And I think he probably meant Ukraine. Yes, I think actually he was talking to Tim Apple about the new product, the Ukraine launching this fall. This fall. Apple seems to have a finger in everything, don't they? Hmm. I, or at least was, a worm. It was my understanding oh, from my sources that the president thought he was actually going to be on YouTube. And he didn't really understand that Ukraine is, in fact, a country and not a internet source. I, I see. I swear I saw him on you porn. Maybe that's just me. Well, what confuses a lot of people. Maybe he didn't realize he was using a cross-platform app to tweet. Could we get that in English? On a dit qu'il utilise une app pour toutes les choses. Uh, now be careful. Oh, yes. so vous pouvez... Sorry, I'm not the man here. And, you know, let's, let's keep, keep this cool. old man friendly. Okay. Go men aside. If, if I may, in this call, apparently, there is discussion of the javelins. And it's not clear if the president understood what javelins were being referred to, but the president of the Ukraine, if that's who he was talking to, apparently thought that the javelins were a defense system that was already promised to them. Now, one of you, uh, Siegfried, who's not here tonight, one of your colleagues, I should say, Siegfried told me that the president had already decided on giving them a weapon system that was primitive by our standards. Do we have a picture of that weapon? Uh, yeah. That thing, I don't, I don't know if you could even drive that on the interstate. But uh, if this is what was going on, then the president uh, didn't understand what we had promised the country. Or does it have something to do with the javelins per se? You know, ever since uh, Eric's little mishap in track and field, I understand Melania does not allow javelins in the house. Mm. Ah, that, 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 that might Eric explain only it. Uh, use them at the Renaissance Festival for jousting purposes, which Washington, D.C. doesn't have one within a 50-mile range, which causes it to be actually an out-of-state activity, which doesn't bring it within the jurisdiction of the White House. And uh, the, one of the most popular movies uh, this summer season has been uh, Jousting Porpoises. I haven't had a chance to see it myself, but you've Cross all... Cross Porpoises. Huh? Cross Porpoises. Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, they, they put it right out there in front of people and they, they don't seem to get the message. But uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be a spoiler, but uh, sharks are involved in the tragic end to that movie. But 
Have it's, you seen it's, it's the, a new, tear -jerker. the new cross, the shark porpoises exhibit at the Smithsonian? No, I have not. It's tragic. I've been it's so I've tragic. been working hard. I haven't had time to to goof off and go to the Smithsonian like some people apparently have. So. Well, well, it's, another it's a thing. It's very moving piece. I highly recommend you check it out, but take some tissues. Okay. Uh, another thing that was on display uh, at the Smithsonian, excuse me, the Smithsonian this week was the 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 still living uh, squid pro quo, and and my understanding was that uh, Republicans keep talking about uh, there not being any squid pro quo in the call. I certainly I've listened to the call and read the text a couple of times. Um, I don't see any mention of uh, squid pro quo. I, th I think it's one of those new, you know, fake meat products. I thought it was shoe polish. Well, I mean, some things have dual use. Mm. That's why we have a commerce department. Mm, like my grandmother. Yeah. What what they're actually talking about there is... Was, there was a tragic accident with the pitchfork and your, your grandmother. I, I do want to express my sympathies. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the box was small and the fire was short, so... so. I say, well, she, she went without pain? I uh, know there was a lot. Oh, was there? Oh. You know, I always Sorry. try to go everywhere with pain. I think that way I remember the experience better. Yeah. yeah. I know. Well, I know you, pain is, in fact, my middle name. It's, it's Jim Payne Gymnasium. I don't know if you were aware of that. I not, did. But. After 251 years, you'd think I would remember something like that. But well, God, God knows you never pay attention to anything he in my personal life. So why? Yeah, all right, all right. Let, uh, let, let me just ask you one question that. here uh, that keeps bugging me. We've we've already seen a list of seems like a dozen people that have listened to this call, but it sounds like there must have been an auditorium full of people listening to this call. You got anything on that? Well, we all know, of course. Putin was definitely listening to the call. In fact, he was actually, he programmed the teleprompter for, for Mr. Trump to, so he knew what to say to the Ukrainian president. Well, don't, don't forget, your mom was listening to the call while she was cooking me dinner. Ooh. Delicious pot roast. Your mom made pot roast for her, too? Jesus. Okay. Uh, you're, 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 I, I only, like you're, that. you're only worth spaghetti. What can I, I tell I, you? You're not worth my mom's may I, may I, I guess we've transcript. touched on something sensitive here. I'm Moving right along, I'd like to it's off of the transcript that I got from, um, uh, what is that, uh, the radio source in New York that offered, there is a, a Casey Kasem element to this. As I understand it, the transcript reads, <clears throat> dragging us down to number two is a guy who writes from Washington, Dear Casey. I'm a contender for national office. I've painted myself into a corner, and I'm afraid my only chance to be rescued is by a herd of spineless elephants living in a swamp. Will you play the Mitch's back going out to my second favorite autocrat? Well, that explains that's, it. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that explains that's, it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, good, so work. Let's, good work. Good work. Yeah. Great let's move on. There. Let's just, if we, if we can. Um, the answers are there. The other, the other oh, yeah. thing that is upsetting a lot of people and exciting some others, for example, I know that uh, Rachel Maddow was apparently uh, uh, just awoken from the, the sleep state that she was in. Mm. Uh, now she wants a, a camera in every room of her house in case she thinks of something to say on TV. But, but I, I digress. I heard um, it was after she suffered a concussion while snowboarding in Colorado. I mean, she wanted that on TV, too, uh, is the way I understand it. Oh, but that's right. The, so, right, and now I think that for the uh, hearings, right, she's volunteering to be subpoenaed. She's very well read. She's very well informed. I think that particularly from Colorado, she's looking for a, a long-distance uh, opportunity, but it's not clear whether she expects to be grilled or baked. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm confused. Is she in some way related to Karen Ann Quinlan? Or? It's probably more no, a chance of being no. baked. Karen from that Carpenter. region of the Karen country, Carpenter. Oh, yeah. okay. that demographic really would. Like let me let me talk a, a little bit though about the secret server because you've all been looking into this, I know, and I just mentioned Siegfried a while ago. Sig is not with us tonight. We don't know if he's still among the living, for that matter, but he's probably in hiding. He sent me some pictures. The secret uh, server that's talked about in that phone call. Or, well, excuse me, it's not talked about in the phone call. <laughs> the phone call 
digital record of same was put in a secret server, if, if I'm going to be precise. Well, there were some pictures that Siegfried sent me. The first, the first picture shows that uh, the secret server may have been heavily disguised. It looks a, a lot like a, an array of commode seats. Um, and he sent me another picture which, which looks a whole lot like what I have under my kitchen sink. And then the, the, the very last call that I got from him, he seemed to be really uh, excited and he said that the secret server has already been destroyed. Yeah, I'm looking at the picture. If that's it, it's certainly destroyed. But, but I know you all looked for it and I want to know where it was and I want to know how you found it because you all I'm, seem to believe you I'm, found the secret server. I'm, I'm actually confused. I thought a secret server is, was what happened when you tried to get service at a Denny's. Is that you're saying a secret server is actually a, a physical piece of equipment or is it just a manifestation of a spiritual being? I thought it was those little notes that you send to for your friends on Valentine's Day in elementary school. Oh. Um, messages. And I've composed a haiku. It goes something like, two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. Pickles, onions on a toilet seat. Well, I could, I that's could, the I answer. could swear that one it, of you sent me a message last oh, night. Oh yes, I, I remember. I remember it was on uh, Air Force One. Right. That, yes, no, yes, yes. That is, mention of the toilets reminded the me. The women's room on Air Force One yes. is where they hid the secret server. Absolutely. No, that is absolutely not. I have firm proof that it's in the New England Patriots locker room, along with the Spygate cameras that are carefully hidden away where no one can see them. All right. Um, uh, you know, I can't help thinking there was probably more than one secret server because I think that's what we have here. There was, there must have been a copycat, a duplicate. There was, there was a secret server on the grassy knoll. In fact, then there, there would be three. Yeah. There was a secret server from behind. Yes, and well, off to the side. I believe so. Yes, that I think like the ballistics like will conclusively right see, prove see, that. You see, I was told that there is a secret server that w it was in the White House bowling alley, but it's broken. And that makes sense to me because this all started with a whistling bowler, didn't it? The hat or the shoe? Somebody accidentally stomped on it while they oh, were right. in no, Zumba no, class. No, no, the president has a lot of shoes. We know that. You, you sent pictures. Uh, they're very stylish, but they're not all the same size, uh, whatever that's about. You mean left to right? No, yeah, I mean symmetrical. eight and a half to thirteen and a half. Well, I don't know what he does with his feet. He now, wears now his shoes they, on his hands. They, there is another possibility here, Paul, boss, that uh, the secret server could be hiding almost in plain sight and, in fact, in Donald Trump's hair. True. I think that's a There's distinct a lot possibility. Of room there. Okay. We could be missing. That's the perfect place to hide it. We yeah, could be missing. No, no one would ever look under, for it. No one would ever look for any sort of intelligent device. Right under, under our toupees. I mean noses. Okay. Okay, I, I keep wondering if this is a Mac or a PC, by the way, because uh, it's probably Unix or it's something complicated so that people can't uh, just indiscriminately file things in there. Absolutely. I, Unix I, I had Unix heard it was or, actually an abacus. Uh, that too. I, the last time I had to deal with Unix was a bad trip in Bangkok. Mm. Yep. Okay. That was, uh, that was, I remember your grandmother telling me about this shortly before her tragic death. I, yeah. That was, that was, that, that was a bad year for you. That was a bad year for Life you. Life on a razor's edge. Yeah. yeah. I got to tell you something. I've been hearing that there's stuff in that secret server, documents about, pictures of, uh, and God knows what else, William Barr, the Attorney General. Am I right? There is, mm -hmm. in fact, my sources tell me there's a recording of his first punk rock band, the Large Intestines. I've, I've I heard. I think I may have, may have heard. I think I've been mm -hmm. to one of their shows. They yeah. were they were famous because they they played their guitars. They had two lead guitars, but each of them only had one string on their guitar, so they could only play one or two notes. But and as in the a, punk rock world and in bars world, in fact, that's. Two notes are sufficient for any justification of any, anything going forward. The, 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 yeah, there was also was something about his abduction by aliens on the planet Sirius. Or from You're the talking about S-E-R-I-O-U-S? -E yes. That's a planet that doesn't get mentioned too often except in highly classified uh, 
intelligence agency documents, so you might be on to something there. It's uh, come up in the last few weeks with the Area 51 raves. People are really discussing that there were signs and protests everywhere saying we really believe in Sirius. And actually, Seriously. it's worth noting that the Area 51 raves are much better than going out in the desert and jumping around in circus outfits. Uh, yes, I, I, I would agree. I'm not sure you're aware of this, Paul, but Tom, in fact, does speak serious language. I do. I do. He's, um, he's been listening to the serious well, podcast. I had a phone Sirius. call recently yeah. that I couldn't make out. It's for you. That explains a lot right there. Thank you. You know, uh, while, I'm, while I'm talking about William Barr, you know what that guy is up to now? He is... Five eight. Uh, five eight and a half, I think. And uh, he was in the backfield, as you know, uh, with, without much equipment. But well, he, like he, five, wears, he wears lifts. By the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. He wears lifts in his shoes. That's, ah. that's a little known. Well, fact. While yeah, I'm talking the bar about... pretty low. Yeah. As I'm talking about William Barr here, what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you people, uh, because none of you seem to be on this, that William Barr is out there, uh, well, it's stuff like he did in high school. In high school, he was giving girls haircuts that they didn't ask for. I mean, that's, that's been reported uh, in the Philadelphia Fumigator, but not by you, apparently. Uh, oh, I, I, I don't consider that an offense unless he actually sniffed the hair. No, had, he, had he given unauthorized haircuts and then sniffed the hair, I would have been all over that one. All right, well, he's looking for skeletons now. In the hair. <clears throat> it's, uh, skeletons in the closets of Democrats. And in particular, he has been going around the world and asking foreign governments, our allies, uh, to help manufacture scandals about the Obama administration because he doesn't seem to be getting anywhere with the younger Biden. Well, they should have been coming to Colgate for fake news. We are actually the premier education institution for that particular type of information. I'm not sure why he felt he had he needed to outsource it to another country. I mean, fake news is what we do. Well, we are the experts. If if I could I, have, I would, I would, you know, they would have had interns all waiting in line to be employed at that job to fulfill that need. It's a domestic opportunity. I think it's untapped. I think uh, it, um, the living wage right now barely covers the talent resources that we see all over the dark web. Yeah, that's the problem with the Trump administration. He talks about bringing jobs back to America, but, you know, he's making, making relationships and creating jobs all over the world. Why does he rely on Russia? Why do the Democrats rely on Ukraine for this? We have the domestic opportunity right here to tear down our own democracy. In fact, well, uh, that, that, that brings, up, uh, brings to mind that uh, Nancy Pelosi, in recent days, apparently decided that, uh, that Jerry Nadler wasn't doing the, the work that he should have been doing, and so now he's going to head a House committee on circuses, mm. because he's already held several circuses. He's got uh, tons of experience. Yeah, with it. yeah, yeah. It's all a circus. And so, yeah, any anything you're talking about here would be would be just uh, food for thought for a committee like no. that. Now, would, mean, would these circuses have the spineless elephants that we I think so, so. so richly yeah. deserve? Yeah, I. Yeah, from the south of India only. Okay. They, there, they, there's other things I assume that were uh, that were hidden away. Uh, in these secret servers, um, I'm kind of hesitant to ask you if 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 you can describe stuff that you've seen. Like, like you you see here in in regular reporting, you see um, that there was a list of new names for for countries. Mm -hmm. What do you think that's about? I think that is the uh, that's Big Elbonia in there lobbying in Congress. All right, and there was a YouTube video on. Frog marching? Mm hmm. That's what, well, and there was also, uh, mm -hmm. there was a book, Constitution for Dummies, but you could tell it had, the file had not even been opened. So uh, I think that's indicative of some of the things we're seeing going on in the Trump administration today. Well, that, that and frog marches. Well, let, let me tell you what somebody else told me. I guess it was Siegfried told me there was another copy of the Constitution for Dummies that was highlighted on just about every other page. Mm hmm. 
So that's what I had heard. Somebody seems not to be worried, and somebody else seems to be mighty worried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's called the Kavanaugh edition. Oh, 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 yeah, right. I forgot about that. Ed, tell me this: there was a map of the Great Wall of China, and it had some notes on it about high. It's this is how high it is in this place. As, as I'd yeah. like to bring up, as President Richard Nixon famously said on his trip to China, well. It certainly is a great wall, so I, and I think that's that, that's an important part of history that I don't think some of these younger yeah. people actually there are, appreciate. There were actually a few editions. One was uh, published in California, one was published in Washington, one was published in Colorado. Just naming how high these aspects, these areas of the of the China were. The I see. Wall of China I think were. we're missing the point. I think that in our diplomacy, the, our greatest moment recently was when George Bush went to the premier of China and said, "Tear down this wall." Well, he did, but I mean, it, it took him uh, an entire weekend, as as I remember. Now, I mean, does I'm not does sure. Does the we Great have Wall that. of China do they have uh, water containing alligators on on the top of the wall, or is that um, is that a, is that an urban legend? No, there's a partnership with Biden's son in order to get water slides along the top, but they have alligators that are on the way. Okay. Now, All are right. These, now, are these now, spineless alligators, or are they spineless alligators and elephants from 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 India as well? South of India. And and you will remember the discussions about a moat to accompany the wall, and in this moat would be all sorts of things uh, like snakes, like crocodiles, but apparently from what I have seen. And uh, Siegfried was adamant about this, that they were making uh, simulated mechanical snakes. You know, this is, this is actually a good to thing. To save money. Right. I, I mean, they, they do have to credit the, the Trump administration with one good idea, you know, with the creation of the wall, with Mexico and a moat. Solar turbines and several other companies are now competing to create a uh, a gener wave generation system to make it, you know, more exciting and dangerous. And that's created a lot of, uh, you know, rise in stocks for that general but won't industry. That, won't that lead to our, our uh, brave Border Patrol agents getting wave cancer if they have these waves going back and forth on the moat? I think that should be a serious concern. I, I think it'll lead true. to another, uh, you know, we have, we have middle-aged men these days jumping from the tops of skyscrapers. They, they have a name for this sport. Uh, I don't base, base jumping. That's it. Base. base. And of course, we Not would to be confused with base 2020. But well, they, no, when, when I, they, was, I was just about to ask you okay. if there's some connection. When because they go without the squirrel suit, it's called naked base jumping. That, but they don't usually have repeat performances. That was, that, was okay. one, that was one of your grandmother's favorite hobbies, was it not? Well, I, I, I didn't realize it was a squirrel. I simply thought it was a wad of duct tape with eye holes, but... I thought, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I'm learning a lot here. My grandmother can take it. Go ahead. Rest your okay. soul. When we were talking about, when we were talking about uh, sources and methods, mm. you told me that there was a way to get into the east wing of the White House during certain parts of winter, that involved... Uh... Yes, yeah, so there was a time when I lived in Washington, D.C., you can tell by my accent, that uh, when it would snow, I think it was 2010, we called it Snowmageddon, uh, I did find it was possible during the Obama White House on the east side of the, of the, uh, the compound. When snow got about so high, it was very easy to tunnel through. Now, it did take a very long extension cord from my car in order to use a, a heating element, but these days I would, pro I would probably recommend... Uh, just a photo of Stephen Miller, you know, that brings about enough hellfire probably for at least 30 feet at a time. Well, that sounds like so much trouble, whereas you can get into the West Wing through the underground rave circuit. Through the underground? No kidding. Yeah. They have underground raves there weekly, and if you manage to get in the door that way, you're already in. But you need to bring a, a lot of Dr. Bronner's for foam. That's part of the entry. I you, see. You, you simply need to get on Melania's guest list, which... I won't disclose how I've done that, but uh, <coughs> well, that, that uh, makes entry very, very easy. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about millennia... Uh, Thousands of millennia. Yeah, but also the one that married Donald Trump. Um, we said there were a lot of people on the call, and one thing Sig told me, he said, you, you guys were going to argue with me, was that Melania was listening in on the call we were talking about, 
Well, she, well, she was. Along with her translator. President Trump, trying to appeal to a younger generation, wanted some millennials to be involved in the call, and that didn't, that got translated incorrectly, so Melania ended up being dragged out of the bedroom and forced to listen to this phone call. Okay. It didn't work either because millennials don't do phone calls. You know, they only text. They only or, text. They wear the right raincoats that say, we don't care, do you, but... Y yeah. Okay. Before I leave this subject, and, <clears throat> and, and this is kind of painful to even cover because I think, I think you all are avoiding this question that when I asked you, is there anything else in there that's interesting in the Secret Server? <clears throat> Nobody talked about those random pages from the 28th Amendment. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it looked like there were draft texts for the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the last one I read in public was the 26th. I don't know what the 27th is, and I don't know what the 29th is, but we've got some of the text. Don't we have the text? Can you show them what's in the 28th Amendment there? Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't, I don't know if this upsets all of America, but it upset me. It says, after a phrase about tuna sandwiches, and I don't, I don't know what that means, however, if it becomes obvious that nearly all the Democrats in Congress are traitors, the president is entitled to suspend or revise the Constitution and declare himself king, and then it trails off there. We don't you have know, the whole... That, that is why fake. is it such a sexist rule? Because why wouldn't, he, why wouldn't he declare himself queen? Why does it have to be king, only king? I, we are still such a patriarchal country. Well, there's country. 27, 28, and 29. Maybe... maybe. Maybe they kept changing it. Fundamentally, I, I, you know, I don't like this phrase. I don't like propagating it. But that would, be, this right here is what I consider fake news. There is no 29th amendment. It is a leap amendment. There's a 28th and there's a 30th. 30th amendment is written in Sharpie. Does refer to the things you're speaking of. Okay. It, yeah. I, it outlaws. The I forgot. It outlaws that. the National Weather Service. Does it not? Every four years. Well, I, yes. He just. He just question the utility of fake news. I, I'm not sure I can continue in this conversation. Well, I mean, you you left that business to work on things like this, didn't you? It's true, but I still find it to be a very valuable mode of education, of genre that inspires the youth to at least be involved in journalism, in current events, whether or not those events um, reported are accurate. At least they are involved in, current, in journalism and current. Well, events. I can't argue with you. But, learning but to write. Jim might be able to argue sentences. with you, but I, I can't. I've given up arguing with I, Marge. I, okay, well, you, you have that. You have that segment of uh, educational experience all to yourself, because I don't think we want to go there. But y'all keep I, distracting me when I'm trying to get. To the well, bottom. It's a good question. I mean, how do you encourage the youth of today to learn to write complete sentences? Well, I mean, those are overrated, aren't they? I mean, that's what Ruth Bader Ginsburg has said. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we we have gone through most of this show, forty-five minutes of it already, without bothering to religiously advocate complete sentences at or, every turn. Or even 140, more than 140 characters. I mean, how do you encourage the youth of today and, and, and actually well, there's get a lot them of, to understand that they need to write things that are more than 140 I, characters? There's a lot of characters. Their very own president, all he does is write things that are 140 I, I characters. Fully, I fully smiley smiley eggplant, Pete Smiley Eggplant. Oh. I fully support complete sentences, I might say, boss, because I, I think early parole is just a terrible way that contributes to a crime wave throughout the country, and I think all prisoners should be required to complete their sentences. Well, you won't get any argument from me, except, except that uh, I asked you all, before you came here, I said, I need to know if there are transcripts of other calls in those uh, okay, secret... Okay, okay, well, let's, let's get down to business. I mean, we, we have are there other left. transcripts of some calls? Are, are there... Are there secret documents about the border wall? I mean... There was a talk with Yahoo Netanyahu about race car drivers, I'll admit. Oh, and he would know, wouldn't he? He would. He would know. Yeah. What, what about... Uh, there, were, there was a transcript where it was actually a, a live 
phone call with a base jumper that was talking to the vice president as he was jumping from a large building. So uh, that, there's a so transcript. It, it mainly consists of ah! But I understand, noise, right? I understand that. And a lot of wind noise. Yes. Uh, wind noise. If, if you have a tape recording that goes with the jump, that gives you more points in the standings. Is that the idea? Yeah. Well, he wasn't standing. I think at the end, it was more of pancaking. Okay. Yeah, you know, that was the tragic one where he forgot to actually attach the rope. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Hence the scream when he realized that he had, in fact, forgotten to attach his rope. That was actually Dan Quill's backpack from scouting, yes. And, and to bring Vladimir Putin back into the conversation, there was a discussion with him about the differences between Buddhism and breakdancing. And there are, there are at least three that I can think of. What, what would those be? Um, I'm, I'm the one that's not at liberty to say. That's oh, why okay. I... Oh, brought you all aboard tonight. There are some things, the, the, you know the classification system, above cosmic, right. above external, above uh, planetary, above... Well, it for is, example, it is well known that, that Vladimir Putin was a big fan of the movie Flashdance from the 80s, so I think that there, there could be some credibility to that, that he would want to talk about breakdancing. Yeah, one the difference context. there, and, and uh, breakdancing is a movement art, whereas Buddhism is more of a... Silent Sitting meditative Sitting still, art. yeah. Yeah. Not moving. Yeah, is that is that why he had trouble with the, the weight control? Was because he didn't move much? Is that is that Yeah, he was unable to get engaged too much with the break dancing, sadly. Yes. Sadly. Had, the story was very not moving. Yeah. You know you know, a lot of things about this are uh, making a lot of us move and you know, and think. Uh, I mean you so. I know you're a big fan of thinking and so forth, but but what I'm wondering, are the Republicans thinking of a way out of this mess? I mean, are they planning, first of all, we could ask, what about the, the presidential candidates? I mean, there are a bunch of Democrats running for president. I, I think they all just jumped aboard right away and said, yep, impeach. But they're not saying much else. I think they may be waiting to to cash in on the World Series, you know, yeah. they... Particularly in light with the, uh, the World Series, they, uh, their message has been quite clear to the American people. It has been something along the lines of... Um, no, no, so I, 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 I'll actually disagree with you there, Tom, because the, the stolen base is just not a part of the game as it used to be, and that was clearly a, a signal to steal the base. Especially so. stealing third. Or, I mean, or, they just simply might not have recovered from the ending of the Game of Thrones season, the show. It, it's, it was a devastating loss to so many Americans. I can't, I, I can't imagine that it wasn't for them as well. I think a, a couple of Democratic presidential candidates think people should be smoking the green stuff. Um, do you think that would help the president? I mean, maybe he could, uh, maybe he could stumble on the truth if he... Um, Mm. You know, as kind of like a truth serum. Green mm. and orange might mix to make a more of a brunette. That, that could help. Mm. A style statement. That, that could it could increase some IQ points. Well, yeah. Well, that there is a. And, and a, again, your your Uber driver that delivers the pizza would his business would just rise astronomically because yeah. the, the the munchies would set in and this White House staff would be. Oh, eating enormous amounts of pizza. That's true. Gluten free pizza. So much as I more information. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As I recall, I think uh, Senator Grassley of Iowa had a statement from the "This Is Fine" subcommittee, um, where he referred to um, the the uh, actually it was sort of a, an across the aisle gesture to Beto about uh, the dime bag platform, which would bring about more opportunity for uh, remunerative access uh, for communities, largely in Colorado, but a national opportunity. I, I kind of think you're, I mean, you're reaching for straws there. I mean, <laughs> Paper straws. Yeah, yes. we, I mean, the, the problems that we face now are, are, are immense, and, and that sounds more like uh, FM radio to me, what you're saying. But I don't listen to FM radio. Okay, well. Why would that be? Uh, I'm effing tired of FM radio. Oh. Mm. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I'm only listening on the radio during the morning, so I only listen to AM. Okay, well. Uh, Getting you, back to transcripts of other calls, I, I also have my notes from my sources say there was a one with Rudy 
talking to Fox News about his work for the State That's Department. That's Fox News. I thought he was talking. Oh, it could be Fox News. Yes. Yeah. But it wasn't clear which country State Department was involved in the actual phone call, and Rudy apparently had no idea. He just knew it was a State Department. Yeah, and and he seems to have a preference for just about any of them that are off limits. I yeah, guess that's... He, working with any State Department other than the United States, I think, is a... a... Okay, I, I understand. So, Because they, they will actually listen to him. He, Fox News and other State Departments are the only people that will actually... I believe you can confirm that from your sources as well. Yeah, my fake news sources do say that. All right, well, let me just try to put it in, in, a, in the form of a question that we can all work with. Um, I look at the mess we're in and I say, what's next? What's next? I'm afraid that uh, the president is going to reach out to other nations looking for them to assist with dirt. Uh, it's my understanding that he's queued up the Bahamas and Puerto Rico. And, and, and Greenland. My sources have, are very firm that Greenland is, is some of the native uh, Aleutians are very mm -hmm. upset with his proposed plan to buy Greenland, so they're, they're actually going to work digging up dirt on, why, on Biden. So why Trump. would they, oh, I see, I see. Well, I mean, also it's, um, I'm, I'm really sad to report that uh, my sources are, they're lacking, um, they're running really low on marshmallows, and this has, be, this has I thought come you to could the eat uh, squid pro quo. I mean, it tastes just like like chipmunk tartare. Yes, very yeah. similar. In fact, one of the global warming, one of the greatest consequences is not only will squid pro quo be uh, go extinct, but marshmallows are going to become a, a rare item. It, they it, might have gluten, okay. Yeah. Gluten free marshmallows. It's, it, well, it's the elimination of their habitat. There. Yeah, tofu stocks are going to go on the rise, as well as white dye. Yeah, let, let me just middle uh, aged white dye. Let me cut to the chase here. Each of you, each of you didn't, obviously you didn't want to talk about this very much. You sent me a picture of what you thought the future would be like. And I, I'd really like to draw you out. If, if, what? If, can, can we have that first uh, picture they sent me about what the future will be like? You don't I'm have it? I'm looking for it. It's under pick one, isn't it? I believe maybe. it's an egg. Is it an egg beater? Uh, is it a picture of Trump's it. wall? I heard. I mean, I saw some correspondence. Maybe he doesn't. From... I mean, maybe it. See what it looks. Oh, there I think it it's is. Been, I think it's been moved there to one go. of the secret servers. Oh. Home. Yeah, I was afraid that we would have lost that document, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give away who sent me that picture, but. Uh, well, I, I, but, I, uh, I, 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 Jim? I can speak to the, uh, the fact that I believe I was trying to symbolize that egg beaters are the wave of the future because as the baby boomers get older, the cholesterol becomes a very significant national health problem and it won't be addressed by any of the proposed national health care problems, so we're going to have to move to generally eating egg beaters. Well, I thought what you were saying was that uh, Donald Trump seems willing to beat up on everybody and so next he would be beating up on eggs well let too. yeah let, let me have I, you that you know and the, at least the the white the egg replacement populations would survive this this sad time and and those survive would, yeah i mean those <laughs> clever uh, use of the phrase let's let's have that next well. picture I, that's enough that's a, let's have that next picture i'm with you on the egg replacement okay so this looks to me like some sort of a bird I don't know if it's a, a bird that has a message, a bird that sings, but uh, Tom? It's a bird that I, teaches Zumba. It's the future uh, of the White House, the future of the country, the future of the White House, because Trump has really been enjoying his Zumba lessons from the instructor that brings us the sources, and he's the saying... One, the one who took over from the yoga instructor that nobody was working with. Yes, this person wasn't very congenial or easy to work with, so... Well, it's because I, I believe over. most of the White House staff has adopted Buddhism, so they, the movement would actually be against. So the yoga instructor is potentially a spy, in fact, I think, has, well, no, has no job, basically. Zumba is actually more movement than yoga, so I'd find that hard to believe. I want um, to see that last picture now. Oh, excuse me, Tom, did you have something to add? I was just going to say, I'd like to see that again, because it looks like someone has flipped my bird. 
Hmm. Did you do? I you need to talk to your your PA guy. The, I, I thought we weren't allowed. I, to ha the I have on, no control on over over what they do. Their their union. So I. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I have one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It no, makes me think. Are, it makes me think. If you say something, if you say too much, you'll also um, kind of anger the mob bosses that run the unions. Anyway. So. Oh. This that is, is, team is, that, is that not uh, Barr's guitar from when he was in the large intestines? <laughs> I think I think you're on to something, and I think you see that could be where the you, secret server could be hiding in that guitar. Now you people are not uh, you are not associating yourselves with the pictures you sent me, but I want to take your statement a little bit further down the road. I wouldn't be surprised if we had some confessionals from people like William Barr, who has a career as a failed punk rock musician, if you want to call it that. And I think he might bear his soul. And I think others might bear their souls. And since I brought together here a bunch of people who, well, they don't like bearing their souls, but, uh, but they did bear their souls. And um, since they bear their souls, I, I, I hope that helps all of you out there to somehow face the demons that are inside of you because um, my people brought me those pictures. We didn't show it and no, I, I have more time. He always lets me go past one minute. No, it's, no, no. No, yeah. no. No, no. So anyway, until next time, next time I think I'll, I'll just come alone because I don't want you to be confused thinking that my sources don't agree with each other. Uh, usually they do agree. And, and no, we don't. Were, no. If you were paying attention to it tonight, you realize that they agreed on quite a few things, uh, among them the fact that we're in, well, we're in pretty deep waters right now, and none of us really know how to swim. Well, maybe so, if there had been more of us here, we would have had more of a consensus agreement because statistics. Well, you heard it first. Well, n n not first. You heard it. You heard it, didn't you? What? Well, I don't, I don't think I heard whatever it. she said. No speaking English. Oh, <laughs> let's just have some theme music because I, I, I'm going to have to lecture these people after we get home about bringing documents here that no one should see, even though it was my idea. And I, I take full responsibility. And I'll be seeing you all again sometime down the road as long as they let me come back on the air. And, uh, and I, I won't be in the sleep state. Do I need to apply for a new job, boss? You should go to the teacher fund, no? Nobody, yes. I'm going to check shit to be in the food chain. Yaski, taski. Basinto, come on. Get a new job. Claro, claro, claro. That's what I could do again. Really press your luck and so forth. <laughs> you got those also very nice. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? You uh, might as well. Husky, husky, you the and the floor is lava. Hobby. She's saying there's claro, claro, oh, claro, uh, yeah. claro. Work for a lobby and so forth. I'm, I'm getting too old for this kind of work, I think. Are and me? I feel like I just got home. And I feel like I just got home. You may as well. well Quicker than, like like Quicker than a ray of light. Quicker than a ray of light. Have a conversation and so on. Well, she's got herself a universe. I've got myself a universe. I can't argue with you. I mean, I used to be yeah, able to, but they, they changed the rules. I'm supposed you to may as well agree with you. Go now. to church on Sunday. You may as well quarterback well, we back gotta, on Monday. Gotta burn all you these You may documents. as well start a oh. world war. Can't we just put them on a secret server? Wish your bonus Oh, yeah. Star Let's just uh, file them in the secret server. That'll be fine. I'll, I'll head straight up to Foxborough straight away. To Which Patriot one? Stadium. A, B, C. The, or, well, the one on the grassy knoll has been weather damaged, so there's no point in attempting. I'm going to the bowling one. alley. That's where I'm going. Find the whistleblower? Yeah. The whistle bowler? The whistle bowler. The whistle bowler. The whistle bowler. <laughs> whistle bowler. Okay. Say that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs>
I almost could not hold it together when you said Go on down subpoena. to the seashore. <laughs> Detachable subpoena. You'll see some water. It's hard to ignore. Bend down and look at a pebble. You're, you're looking at me. There's some where I'm looking at you as you I'm delivering. You see two and then oh, you're shit, in for trouble at the seashore.